Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Today, I am here with a super exciting unboxing. This is the second ever um, Cherry Wallace's Curation of Magical Curiosities message box. This is done in collaboration with Geek Gear, and the owl actually delivered this this weekend, so I honestly am very, very impressed with myself for not actually opening this off camera when I got it, but I didn't, and I avoided spoilers, so 20 points to Gryffindor. So this is actually a festive box, all themed around Christmas and the Harry Potter world, so I'm expecting some coziness. I usually buy Geek Gear boxes. This one was, however, sent to me by Cherry, so thank you so much, Cherry. That being said, I will try my very, very best to be as objective as I can and open this as any other box. I personally really, really loved uh, her last box, and I just think it brought everything that I think sometimes Geek Gear lacks, because they're not my favorite style-wise um, boxes in general, but um, I have been with Geek Gear for a very long time. I've been subscribed to them from like since like 2016, so um, still with them and stuff. Cherry just brings this like extra magic and extra care into it, which I really like, or maybe elegance. I think it's maybe elegance. Anyway, I saw her say that she's gonna release more. I don't know if by this point if there's any available, but I will link their website down below regardless. And it had the normal box and actually like a, a two box, which I'm assuming gonna have a poster. Let's dive into it. Oh, that's so pretty. So we have the shredded paper in red and green and everything looks packed really pretty. And we have a card that says, Happy Christmas, Neville. Um, and a letter on the other side. Did you feed the owl upon arrival? I sure did. I actually have a very, very friendly postman and whenever he comes over, it just brightens my day. So this is not a spoiler card, so I'm, I'm assuming that's gonna be later on in front of me, and I'm just gonna grab the biggest item that I see. Ooh, there's other magical things underneath. Okay, so there's this um, wrapped parcel with this cute little bow. This reminds me of something. Oh, it is a scarf. Ooh, that's actually a really good quality scarf. Like, ooh, that's so pretty. You have the tassels at the end. Oh, that is such a pretty scarf. Oh my god, this is actually very autumnal, so you don't have to like, oh, I love it. These colors, I love everything about it. Like, I love the quality, it's so nice. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. And you can see, you can see the, what's it called? The, the knit, the pattern. So it's not quite like a chunky knit, but I do really like these. That's really pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's one of the Molly's ones, but for, I wanna say the twins, but I feel like I'm gonna get roasted. If I'm right, I'm gonna get myself some points because this is testing my knowledge. I'm thinking to leave that till the end. I was thinking maybe it's gonna be a want, I just had this from the thumbnail, but um, I think it's a bit too short for that and I think I would hear it, so it's not a want. Next little box is this with the bow on the print. Oh, and it has flying keys on it, so it's gonna be something with flying keys. Oh, is it gonna be an ornament with a flying key? It is, okay. <laughs> I'm not too shocked because Cherry is a massive fan of flying keys, so this makes total sense. Oh, they have these little wings. That's actually so pretty. A good DIY idea as well. Oh, but it actually has a Deathly Hallow symbol right here, so actually better than DIY because you probably couldn't do that yourself, could you? So that's really cool. Next little box says, I will post service September 91. Oh my god, it's a remember all! How did I get to the place where before this month I had zero remember alls and now I have a second one? <laughs> so I just quickly grabbed the one that um, I got sent by one of you guys. So this is Cherry's one, which is really cool. It has like these um, patterns and it's like well see-through and clearly I have not forgotten anything. And uh, this is the one that you guys made for me. They're both so lovely. Um, it's really cool. I just can't believe that I have two remember alls now, I don't know, it's just so random. I think, I think a remember all in your collection is just really a fun um, item to have in general, and I have not seen them before. That is why it's extra funny that I have two now. <laughs> Next up, we have something here, and this is definitely a, a Yule Ball one, because you can see from the designs of the actual box. Um, very Christmassy. This is pretty cool. I think this is one of the bottles that was obviously um, on the tables during Yule Balls. Pumpkin Stopper. 
This is so cute. This is so cute. And it has this blue at the bottom and it has like a holographic uh, snowflake at the front. Then we have this big box. It has an R and an H, which is I'm assuming for Harry and Ron, unless this is, no, it's too light to be a notebook from Hermione as well, because they also bought, got um, the same, what is it? Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> That is so cool. We have two gloves. First of all, they're really soft. And we have them for Harry's and Ron's. I can't, I, can't, I kind of got that right, didn't I? When I guessed uh, there's gonna be something maybe with the sweaters. Because obviously that is the most iconic like Harry Potter Christmas thing. I feel like that's what everyone kind of thinks about when they think about Harry Potter Christmas. But we got them in gloves. That is actually genius. Um, obviously, I, I can see some people having an issue with them being different colors, obviously, um, but I personally wear odd socks for fun, so this is not an issue for me whatsoever. I really like this sort of gilded pattern, like, so it's not one color, it looks like it's kind of knitted. I have like kind of pretty long fingers, so it's tiny bit short on me for like fingers, but obviously this stretches, so I'm thinking I'll stretch it out. Um, but if you also have like a PNS fingers, then that might be the case for you as well, but they're very stretchy, so I have like no doubts. And this is like my favorite item so far. I absolutely adore that. And we're not even there yet. Oh my god, you like these, these items alone are worth it already for me. Oh, we have a crown on this so it looks like maybe something about Weasley's are king? Oh no, oh, I love that so much. It's one of the chess pieces. That is so cool. That is so cool. I did not know that I wanted it until now, but I have it. Um, that is such a cool thing to just display on your shelves. Oh my God, I wish I had the whole set now. But this has really nice weight to it as well. This is so cool. Next up is this ginormous pin, and it's a Christmas wreath with an H and a lightning bolt in the middle with a snitch, and I can see some other details like the Deathly Hallows symbol, some glasses, the lightning bolt, the snitch, again, like, in the actual design. Oh, I'm making such a mess. Okay, then we have H. Headley Cannon's flag. Oh my god, you guys know I love Quidditch. I love Ron. This probably wouldn't be my personal choice of the team, but I love this. This is so cool. Ooh, is this like pearlescent envelope with a Yule Ball invitation maybe? It's like very shiny. To celebrate Christmas and the Triwizarding Tour Tournament and you have um, all the details inside. It's really pretty and it has the Yule Ball uh, design at the back. Very shiny. You guys know I'm obsessed with foil, so. We do have another, I want to say by Cherry, but I'll have to check. Print, it's really beautiful, it's so detailed, it's so pretty. And it says, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal the car? So it's obviously a howler. It's super pretty, I really, really like it. Um, I definitely think it is Cherry's because it really matches the style from the previous one. I don't know if the howler is necessarily a Christmassy thing, because it was just after they landed, so it would be September, but it's really cool nonetheless. Then we have the cheat sheet, but I actually just remember that there's still a, a, a tub <laughs> to open, so let's go down to this. So there is a print. Oh, it's like a Yule wall poster. It has this velvet lamination on one side. I'm trying I'm trying to print something of my of my own so I suddenly know all the type of paper and lamination. <laughs> But anyway, this is a Yule Ball poster. It has really nice pastel colors. It's definitely very Christmassy. That is everything, but that is a lot. First of all, I think that there's way more items in this than the previous box, if I'm not mistaken. This has been packed. Okay, so the scarf is Molly, Molly Weasley's knitted one. Designed to look like the ones given to Fred and George during Christmas dinner at number 12 Grimald Place. Yeah! Did I pass the fan test? I was actually very nervous about that one. Flanky ornament, wizard's chest piece, love that. Uh, howler artwork, I really enjoy painting my mandrake artwork. So it is by her. From a previous box, so I thought I'd do another one this time. I've always been incredibly fond of howlers, though I'm sure Ron would disagree. Uh, remember all, a Chudley Cannon Squidditch team flag, Yule Ball invitation, Hogwarts wreath enamel pin, Yule Ball bottle, Harry and Ron Christmas gloves, and Yule Ball poster. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bloody items, and none of them are filler, so. 
Color me hella impressed. I honestly loved everything. Everything is really, really nice. Like the quality, everything. I think this box is so much better than the last one and I like that one as well. So I think if I had to choose like three of my favorite items, um, because I can pick just one. <laughs> it's my my game, my rules. I would pick the scarf, which it feels so good. I would definitely pick the gloves as well. And this, the, the, the chess piece, I think it's so magical, so appropriate, love it. If I was like forced at one point um, to get rid of something, I would probably go with the poster. It's not my like absolute favorite, but like it fits it so perfectly and I'm sure people will love it. Everything has just been so great. <laughs> so so well done, Gigear and Cherry. Like, so well done. As always, I'm super interested to see what you guys think. What uh, was your favorite item? What did you think overall? Are you excited for Christmas if you don't celebrate it? Are you excited for winter in general or the year to end? Thank you so much for watching this and hanging out with me. I'm so excited to wear those gloves. I actually really needed the gloves as well, so this is just perfection. But yeah, stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!